Hey guys, Sparks back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video, and today we're going to talk about Harmony Cubes. And Harmony Cubes are a huge power spike to your account, so you don't want to miss out on them. We're going to take a look at what each of them does, what they're good for, and which ones you want to build. Now, before we actually look at the cubes themselves, you get these from the Lost Sector. So if you're a brand new player and you're wondering why you don't have any cubes or where you can get them, the Lost Sector is like an extra game mode that you're going to unlock over time as you complete more of the campaign. And just don't forget about those. That's how you unlock these very powerful pieces of equipment. The other thing to note about Harmony Cubes is the more you level them up, the more Nikkeis you can equip them to. So it's very valuable to level these up, and we'll talk more about how you can actually do that towards the end of the video. So let's jump into the cubes here. The first one we're going to look at, and the first one you'll unlock, is the Assault Cube. And this gives you the effect of Hit Rate Up. Now, once you get it to level 5, you'll unlock a second um, ability on it, and that's going to be Strong Elemental Damage Up. So like, for instance, if you're equipping it to a Water Nikkei and you're fighting a Fire Enemy, you'll get an extra amount of damage on top of the normal bonus. And all of the cubes are going to have this elemental um, damage up once you get them up to that level 5. So that's always going to be their secondary effect. Now there is a third slot here, but so far we don't have those, so we don't know what those effects might be. They're going to come, I assume, at some point in the future. Now, Hit Rate Up Cube is fairly handy. It is the best one for Modernia if you have her, if you don't have Overload equipment yet, because she gets a big attack bonus for having the Hit Rate Up effect. And then later on, you don't need to worry about that, because you can get that effect on Overload gear, and then you can equip her with other cubes. And we'll point out which one is the best at that point. Now, something to note about these cubes in general is that a lot of these effects are things that you can get on Overload equipment. So the cubes that have an ability that is not on Overload equipment are kind of extra valuable because it's the only way to get those effects. Other than Modernia, this is generally a good cube for shotgun users because they have that wide spread, and so you can concentrate that damage and do more for enemies, for instance, on the Gravedigger. Now the next cube is the Onslaught cube, and this increases charge damage. This is very good, but you get it from equipment effects again. So it becomes less and less important as you progress further in the game. Um, obviously you're only going to be using this on sniper rifles or rocket launchers. The third cube is the Resilience cube, and this increases reload speed. This is probably the second best cube in the game, and you can't get this effect from any overload equipment, so this makes it extra valuable. Um, another good example of why reload speed is so good is like in the simulation room, probably one of the best universal buffs you can get, one of the best epic buffs, is the one that reduces reload speed. Because just reducing reload speed on everybody, it means you're going to have that much more time dealing damage, your DPS is going to go that much up, and it's particularly good against units that have a very long reload speed, such as Shotgun Users or Scarlet, who is our very famous highest DPS uh, unit in the game, or close to, you know, one of those top units. Uh, but her reload speed is so long, so this gives her a really uh, strong boost to be able to deal more damage over time. Another standout unit for this uh, Resilience Cube is going to be Power, because by reducing her reload speed, you can keep the stacks that she builds with her ability for increased damage, even after she has reloaded. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in more tips like this, um, I've done reviews for many of the units. And I'm going to keep doing reviews. They're in-depth guides onto like what they're good at, how good the unit is, what type of equipment. Um, and like for instance, I talk about equipping this resilience cube to power. So go ahead and check that out. Link in the description and uh, link up here. Anyway, um, the next cube is the Bastion cube, and this gives you rounds back for every 10 rounds that you fire. So imagine you have a theoretical 30 round clip or magazine. So you'll fire 10 rounds, bringing you down to 20, but then you'll get two more rounds back. And then when, you know, I think it's at level five, you get your two rounds back. Um, and then you'll have 22, right? Then you fire 10 more, bringing you down to 12. Then you'll get two more, bring you up to 14, and so on. So it keeps giving you some back. And then that really sweet spot that you're striving for is at level 7, it gives you three rounds back for every 10 rounds. And this is probably the best uh, cube in the game. It is extremely strong. Um, and this is another effect that you can't get from overload equipment. So this effect of just returning rounds is very effective in large 
uh, magazine type weapons such as the machine gun and this ends up probably being the best cube for Modernia. This can also be really good on Scarlet if it's leveled up enough because she has that long reload time so if you can just go for a long time without ever even having to reload it can increase your overall DPS even more than increasing your reload speed. So I would say this is the number one cube you want to invest in. After you've leveled this up to level seven, then you probably want to focus on the reload speed or resilience cube. The Bastion cube is going to be the number one cube that is probably going to give the biggest power spike for most accounts. All right, the fifth cube is going to be the Adjutant cube, which increases charge speed. This is probably the worst, to be honest. Um, it's not because decreasing charge speed is bad, but just the percentage decrease is so small that this ends up usually being the cube that I just kind of throw on, you know, whatever the unit is that I just don't have a cube left for. Now, the last cube that we'll take a look at is the Wingman cube. This is another pretty good one. It increases the max ammo capacity. This is a very good effect, but again, this is something that you can eventually get in overload equipment, so it just kind of becomes less valuable on the cube itself. Um, check out my playlist for more beginner tips. Um, if there's other things you don't know about the game, like these um, cubes, I have guides for all kinds of things, such as how to overload equipment, what different game modes do, etc. There's a whole playlist, a link to that playlist in the description below, and... Uh, also uh, up here as well. So if you're a newer player, be sure to check that out. Um, we, can, we can get you ready to go and know all the things that you need to know really quickly with that. All right, now let's go ahead and jump out here and talk about how we actually get to upgrade these. So I'm gonna go into the shop here and one of the shops is the Union Shop. So you earn this currency from Union Raids. So this is why it's really important to be part of an active raid. My raid at the time of recording here, or sorry, my Union at the time of recording here is full but we are recruiting every so often whenever someone kind of like drops out of the game or whatever. Um, the really important thing is just that you find some union because you can't get this currency unless you are participating in union raids. And the higher your union ranks, the more currency you'll get at the end of the raid. So this currency is just super, super valuable. And you'll see you can also buy the duplicate bodies for the liberation units. So you have like Sin and notably Nihilister and all the rest of them here. This is really tempting, but the cost is so high and just the overall increase in power or return on investment for increasing your cubes is going to be way higher. So I do encourage you to just focus on leveling up these cubes and again, probably focus on the Bastion cube first. Um, all right, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this video with a mold pull as I like to do in a lot of my videos. Um, by the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I am an official Nikkei content creator. Let's see if we can get something good out of this high quality mold. I usually have pretty good luck with these. Emma, nice. Okay, that's pretty good. I think this brings up Emma to max limit break for me. So we can get that uh, animation of her. I think she's trying to give you a kiss for the uh, lobby backgrounds. So we'll go ahead and check that out um, maybe in a later video. And she's a very strong unit in arena. So happy to get Emma. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I'll check you guys out in the next video. I stream on Twitch and YouTube multiple times a week. So um, subscribe for a recap of the live stream. There's an official live stream happening um, the next day at the time of recording. So make sure you don't forget that. I'll talk about all the announcements, my thoughts on it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.